Tensions continue to mount on the Russia-Ukraine border as an estimated 100,000 Russian troops are being staged for what some fear could be an imminent invasion. Ukraine was, of course, part of the old USSR that split apart in 1991. But as Paula Tutman reports, local Ukrainian Americans say they're terrified Vladimir Putin is trying to rebuild a superpower nation at their expense. In the metro Detroit area, there's somewhere north of 20,000 people who say they are of Ukrainian descent. And today, there's a great deal of stress and strain of what's going to happen next over there. For every Ukrainian American, there's a different story of why mothers and grandmothers, fathers and grandfathers left a land they love. To my grandfather, he finished um, he finished his school, uh, agriculture school, and he was a very famous agriculturist. And my grandmother and they are never were a part of a communist party. So that, that created a certain problem for them. For Elena, today is an important day in her culture. Yordan, the Theopany, to end the Christmas season and celebrate the baptism of Christ. And today she even remembers her own baptism in a place hostile to her family's belief system. We couldn't be baptized at home. So my and Orthodox, an Orthodox church. Why couldn't you be baptized? Because Orthodox Church was suppressed uh, by uh, by Soviet Union, and all priests were were killed, and uh, it was only Russian Orthodox Church uh, has allowed to practice, and we also had uh, underground Greek Catholic Ukrainian Church, which were towered to the Rome, so I was baptized in the secrecy from my mom and dad. <laughs> So in the home and the neighbors should keep that in a secret. And the threat of a return to that is what's so deeply concerning. He wants to reunite and reconstruct all Soviet Union back. And he wants to increase his power and he was he and he wants to bring all like 15 republics under complete total, uh, totalitarianism and recreate a state, a big Russian state. And that would be recreating a superpower. As Vladimir Putin stages 100,000 troops at the border with Ukraine and clears out his embassies there, Olena is deeply worried about friends at the front, ready to defend a fragile, fledgling democracy. And when she speaks to her friends still in Ukraine, they are afraid every single day. If, if something would happen to say, literally when we talk to them, we always say like goodbye um, and just see you soon. But I always have heart and I just feel that something could happen to them every hour. Before she hangs up, she is actually afraid to say goodbye. Paula Tutman, Local 4.